Assassin. Uh, I'm here to unbox this Asus PCE AXE 58BT. What this is is a Wi-Fi 6E PCIe adapter that I'm installed on my computer. Again, it's a Wi-Fi 6E. I have a WeLink internet, which is wireless fiber optics, and I do get 6E speeds. So uh, I got this. Mainly the reason I got this is because my computer that I built doesn't have Bluetooth. So I got this mainly for Bluetooth, but I also, you know, spent a little extra. Might as well get the Wi-Fi 6E because, you know, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are together. But I'm going to open this up for you. So here we go. All right. So what does this have in it? Wi-Fi 6E says uh, including Wi-Fi 6, 5, and 4 and more uh less congestion and interference 6 gigahertz 160 megahertz bandwidth and bluetooth 5.2 further range less interference and on the back it says faster wi-fi lower latency less interference the wi-fi 6e leader asus provides a total solution for the latest Wi-Fi 6E standard from routers to wireless PCIe cards with careful design engineering and supporting software the ASUS Wi-Fi 6E total solution ensures optimal optimized capabilities and performance and as you see it says it has a dedicated lane can you see that let me bring it closer first let's take the plastic off because the plastic is creating this crazy reflection hold on Let's get the plastic off first so we can show it on the camera. All right. I think that would be much better. Plastic off. Make sure the plastic goes in the recycle side. There we go. Much better. You see it says dedicated 6E devices. 6 hertz gigahertz lane is different from the Wi-Fi 5 and 6. It also says PCIe 6E. The Wi-Fi 6 and the Wi-Fi 5. So it's tri-band. And it has a special lane for it. And my, like I said, I have routers that have a Wi-Fi 6E in them. So while we're here, let's go ahead and how we, okay, it opens up this way. And what you want to do is, I love Asus products. I have Asus monitor. My motherboard is Asus. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it opens up from the front here. Just a it opens up down here. Slow. So, let's see what we have here. Let's lift this up and get you a higher view of what we got going on here. What's going on over there? Anyways, so we got the PCIe card here. Looks like it's wrapped. Let's zoom out a little bit. Right about there. It's in the non-static paper, the plastic you want to call it. And let's pull it out. Ooh, this is nice. Looks like it's got the heat sink. It looks like that has the connector there for the Bluetooth. I'm guessing that's going to go to a USB on the motherboard. PCIe slots here. And then on the back, you have your antenna prongs, but you also have your bracket here. To where you can put it on the back of your computer. Cool. I should have undisconnected my computer, but I didn't, so I can bring it down and show you guys how to put it in. I'll probably do a video for that later. So, boom. Let's get zoom in. Wi-Fi 6E. All right, cool. Let's see what else is in the box. Looks like you got your antenna base, which it said on the website that this is magnetic. I'm not going to be sticking it to my computer 
depending on how long this is, this will probably go on top of my desk. Let's see. Let's see this back. So. Come on, open all the way up. Oh, I like that. That's a nice solid base. Uh, it looks like it might have a couple magnets in it. You can lift these up. Turn them. Maybe. Oh, yeah, you can turn them. Turn them. And then, of course, these two pieces here go here. So you screw those in. Bam, just like that. Once you connect it. So the first thing you want to do is connect it. Uh, I would advise online that you would want to download the drivers first. Here's the uh, the piece that connects to it as well as connects to the motherboard. Let's, let's open this up real quick so we can look at it better. So if you do want the Bluetooth, you definitely want to make sure you have a USB slot open. I'm pretty sure it's USB A. You want to have a USB slot open on your board. So I'm going to tell you right now, just basically looking at these pieces, let's zoom out a little bit. This piece is going to go into your, your card like so. Boom. I didn't click it because it's going to click. I'm pretty sure. And you, there you go. Click it. Boom. And there's a little, little tab here to pull it out. So you're going to put it in here like so, and that's going to give you your Bluetooth connectivity. And then on your motherboard, you're going to look for a USB that has five at the top, four at the bottom, and you're going to connect it to your motherboard like so. And then that's it. So first you want to install this, and then you're going to connect it that way. Looks like they give you an extra an extra um, metal bracket just in case you have a shorter, smaller case. See, this is for the bigger case, this is for the smaller case. And that's all that's really in the box. Let's see if there's any documentation. Yep, there is some documentation. Let's see here. Before we get into the action, you know, I like to pack stuff back up because I'm just crazy with like that. I pack that, put this there. And then put this in there because my case is bigger. So it says stop, register at asus.com for more product information. Then it's got the 800 number. Uh, then it's got the adapter information, Windows 11 in instructions, download latest Intel drivers. It says if you have installed Microsoft Windows 11 operating system or later version and Intel AX Wi-Fi LAN adapter has also been installed. Use Windows 10 Wi-Fi driver for Intel wireless adapters. 6 GHz compatible router is required for 6E functionality, which I told you I do have. So that's the driver card. Underneath that is the official start guide, the quick start guide. And then you have, of course, which comes with like every ASUS product. You have your VIP member warranty notice. And that's pretty much it. So just wanted to open that up, give you guys a view of the ASUS PCE AXE 5ABT Wi-Fi 6E PCIe adapter. Got this uh, yesterday, it just got delivered and I wanted to do a quick video on it. This is going to be the wireless card that I'm putting in my computer. 99%, excuse me, 99% of the time, my computer is going to be hooked up to a hard wire. So people are like, well, why would you waste money to get this? Because I wanted to get a Bluetooth adapter. And I didn't want to get one of the cheapy $30 ones and only have Bluetooth 4.0 and da 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 da. I was like, well, I might as well just get the Wi Fi as well as the um, Bluetooth. Uh, and get it 6e because then it'll future proof it that way when I do If I do use Wi-Fi, which I may use Wi-Fi somewhere around the house like say I disconnect my computer somewhere and and um, And I need to connect it somewhere else and I don't have access to a wire that definitely be one of, one of the ways uh, On why I hooked it up to, to Wi-Fi, but, but the main majority is for the Bluetooth feature 
my computer didn't have Bluetooth. The, the motherboard didn't have Bluetooth or Wi-Fi on it. It was one of the motherboards that didn't come with it, so I had to buy an external piece. So this video is about eight minutes, almost 10, with the extra other piece on there. So I'll holler at y'all. Y'all have a good one. Until next time, I'm in right, Cool. YouTube, what's up? It's in the Assassin. You guys will see I'm using this right here, the motion mount. It's actually kind of cool. You just put it on your neck and you attach your phone to it and you can do videos, which is kind of sweet. I've tested this, tested, this, tested this out a little bit and we're going to go ahead and install the ASUS here. So, let's see. I'm going to probably put it right about there. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So, I'm going to take this second one out here. Is that the second one? I'm guessing that's the second one. Let's see how this is going to fit. Y'all don't mind my core management behind my computer. I really don't care what that looks like. So, maybe this one goes there. This, Yep, that second one. Okay, we're going to put the second one out. So we're going to take the second one now. Let me get my screwdriver out. And I didn't feel like doing this downstairs. I didn't feel like lugging my computer downstairs and doing all of this so we're just going to do it this way with this attachment uh oh put that down put that over there okay so as you guys know in the last video, in order for your Bluetooth to work, because this is the Wi-Fi piece with the antennas on the side, in order for your Bluetooth to work, you're going to have to plug this in just like this. So you're going to plug it in just like that, and then you're going to connect this piece to the USB on your motherboard. So right now, will it be too hard to plug it in later? Yeah, we're going to unplug it real quick because I'm not sure how I want to run the cord just yet. So we're going to lay the computer down. Then we're going to move just like this. Let me see how that angle is. That angle's pretty cool. I'm going to pull the computer down just like this so you guys can see it. I'm going to face that like that. So you're going to find your slot here. It's a PCIe, so it should fit in your board just fine. But you want to also make sure you line it up there. Is that going to fit perfect? Yeah, and you just push it down just like that. Pretty simple. Just push it down. Boom. Now what you want to do is get your screw. Line it up. And because I have Windows 11 on this computer, I don't have to download the drivers. The, the manual says if you already have Windows 11, you already have the driver on this computer. So... You already have the drivers installed, so should be just good to go. Okay, cool. And then let's see what you guys can see. Oh, that's a pretty good view. Then where's the piece? You want to come in and take this piece. And let me see. I got a USB over here. That cord management is going to get me, though. Hmm. I'm going to pause the video real quick because I need to figure out my cord management. Okay, y'all can see. Let me flash some light on it. I connected it here and ran it down under and brought it back up and connected it there to the motherboard. So you're going to need your USB piece to connect it to the motherboard. And then you're going to have to connect your Bluetooth piece to the back of that there. So just to show you. I ran it through the bottoms. I paused for my cord management and now we're good to go. So that's it.